Hello fans, viewers, subscribers. I need to keep this review short and sweet because I've just recorded this and uh, it backfired because my camera overheated due to running in 4K and the heat that we're at at the moment. We are in like 30 degrees here in England and my phone couldn't take the heat. So quickly, a quick history lesson and a little bit of the beer review because I've drunk half this already, which is a real shame. Um, this then is called Le Chauffe, or basically roughly translated Le Chauffeur. Uh, and this is a blonde style beer from Belgium and comes in an 8%. Let me see it, 8% and is a 330. See their decoration with a gnome, a uh, gnome hiding in the trees there on the back, gnome flying high on a, on a duck, a little gnome hiding behind a barcode, and so forth. Uh, this is a Belgium blonde beer. There's your cap for any collectors. That there is the name of the brewery which it's brewed at. Now, a brief uh, little history lesson for you fans, um, for those that do like a bit of history. I do try and every now and again get something that I know on the beer itself. This site's a little bit digging, but this was first brewed in 1982 by two brother-in-laws, and they started out doing home brew, become a bit of a a hobby then obviously progressed into further got really good at it opened up their own brewery hence the name of the brewery there Brassier de, de Schoff Brassier de Schoff de Schoff, de Schoff. Um, since 2006 uh, the Morgat family who produced Duvel one of my all time favourite Belgian beers um, took over so they've taken over the brewery Hence the style of the bottle, because that is, let's face it, it's a Duvel bottle. And uh, if you didn't get my pun previously, I have the Duvel glass, which is a dead giveaway. Um, dead giveaway. Alright, there you go, so that's all that out of the way. Um, yeah, upon smelling, um, I'll show you the colours as I'm going. Upon smelling, you know, we had uh, various fruits and spices. We had mostly spice coming from the smell, a little bit of fruit come through, but the flavour is really what blew me away. Um, the flavour is of a, of a fruit like plum, raisin, um, sweet cherry, yeah, sweet cherries, things like this. Mm. Yeah, sweet cherry, sort of that. Um, sweet sticky taste it's it's really nice you then also get a spice which is from what i i think is coriander i'm not 100 percent on this um i i've had various beers with coriander in it so i've got a bit of a taste for coriander it gives it a bit of a spice on the palate when you first drink this you know you get the alcohol hit but you get just struck with a fruit the fruit just coats the mouth it's nice it's sweet it's pardon the pun moorish um, they're very Moorish, tasty. Uh, the the beer itself and the body is very soft and gentle. It's not heavy. It's quite light. It's very soft, easy on the palate, and it really is just a carefree beer. It's just such a gentle beer, and with a head like that, fans, it's not bad either. The head is, of course, of a frothy variety, and don't get much in the way of that. You get fruit, alcohol here, coriander. And that coriander gives it a spice, like a very wild spice. Works really well. I do like it. And, um, yeah, I, I'm drinking this at room temperature because apparently it's best served at between sort of 6 to 10 degrees, I do believe. Now, where I am at the moment, and uh, you know, this is pre-recorded, so when you view this, it's probably not exactly the time that uh, we are experiencing now, but... Here in England, at this current moment in time, according to this recording, it's like 30 degrees outside. I have no idea what the room temperature is. Could be 30 degrees, could be 28, I don't know. All I know is I've got sweat running off me right now. You know, we don't believe in AC here in England because we're not used to the hot, hot heat. I'm thoroughly enjoying the heat, but, you know, I thought, why not follow guidelines? You know, if they're telling me to drink this at room temperature, then that's what I'm going to do. You know, and I think 
drinking it at room temperature really brings out the fruit in this. It really does. The fruit comes through. The flavours really come through. Um, almost like a little bit of an orange twang at the end there. I'm, I, I think I'm just detecting that. It's a bit late coming through, but a bit of an orangey twang. Oh, it's just amazingly good. I need to get more of this. This is really decent. It's soft, it's gentle, free flowing, um, minimal carbonation in the mouth. The overall mouth taste is, of course, of just sweet fruits and in the throat and the chest more so than the throat. You get more of an alcohol burn and it, the burn stays there, but in the mouth, you've got a fruit. So, mouth, you've got fruit, uh, chest, you've got a burn, and the two work really well. <coughs> There you go, if I burp, sign of a good beer fans. I really am impressed with this, I like it, and I think a lot of other people would like it too. And uh, I think it, it could be one of those beers that, I know a lot of people have tried, but I don't think it's one that people often give a lot of credit for. So I'm giving it credit here today by saying I love the Morgate family, I'm a massive drinker of Duvel, that's generally what I drink 90% of my time. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is no exception. This is is what a blonde should be: spicy, gentle, flavoursome, really cool stuff. I'm going to score this, fans, a quick. I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. I think it's decent, well put together. Love the Morgate family. You can trust them to produce decent beer. So again, another thumbs up by the Morgate family, and for Le Chauffe. Blonde. Join me next time, fans, when I review some more beer reviews, hopefully without the camera cutting out. So, yeah, if you want a, a shout out, then do let me know. Just comment, uh, like, subscribe to all my channel. And if there's anything you want reviewing, provided I can get my hands on it, I will do just that for you, fans. So, uh, join me next time for some more beer reviews.